Picture this. You're a commodities trader, and let's just say that sometimes in this world, there are some less than scrupulous individuals. It's very hard to understand if someone really is who they say they are. One day you're contacted by someone named Amit Kumar, and he claims that he has the soybeans you're looking for for a Chinese buyer. Now, you know a few things about him, but Amit Kumar is a very common name, and you want to look him up on Ferret to make sure that this is somebody that you can do business with. Well, you look him up, and first, Ferret knows that there are some aliases that someone with this name might use. Could be Mita, could be Amita. How do we get to the right person that you're looking for? Well, Ferret does this by asking a series of questions. For this search, I know the name of the person I'm looking for. I know that he's from Delhi, but he works in Hong Kong. So that's going to get rid of the majority of the false positives here. But there's a couple people it still could be. What company do I know him from? Well, I know him from Transnational Associates. And now my search strength is very strong. I select complete search. It's a good thing I checked fair at first because this trader I almost did business with is on a US government watch list. It's illegal for me to do business with this guy. Now, this kind of thing is more common than you think. My contact actually used one of his aliases, Mita, and probably has a string of negative lawsuits. Look here, a previous bankruptcy too. This is a scenario where checking fair at first prevented me from doing business with somebody that actually could have gotten me in trouble. Now, let's say that I'm here on LinkedIn, enjoying some nice user-generated content, when suddenly I get a notification from Ferret. The notification says that Vern Baraka, a connection I vaguely know from part of the product source team, he has a fraud alert. Now, product source is a company that I invested in years ago, but I haven't really thought about them much lately, to be honest. Luckily, Ferret is always watching and monitoring my entire portfolio. So what did Ferret uncover? Well, it saw that Vern actually just appeared in a recent leak about unclaimed overseas bank accounts. Well, maybe this is something really bad. Maybe it's nothing, but it's absolutely something I'm gonna call the CEO and make sure that he knows what's going on. In order to make certain that this is really the right person, as I leave the article, I'm going to get a post article relevance bot. This bot's gonna ask me if I know any more information about my Vern, and well, I happen to know that he went to Oxford. When I answer that question, it's actually going to help improve the search results for everybody else as well. For our last example, let's say that I'm an investor, and I just received a pitch from somebody that seemed like a fantastic team. We exchanged a few emails, and suddenly, I got a push notification on my phone from Ferret. Troy Eschuter, the chairman of the company I just talked to, is a possible match in a new lawsuit. Well, they certainly didn't mention this when they were pitching. I click on the notification, and what do I find? Ferret uncovers this court case, and it turns out that this Troy character was actually the CFO of another company that I wasn't aware of, and that company is in the middle of a massive lawsuit that named him as one of the defendants. This is absolutely something that's going to affect my investment decision, and something that I'm going to be bringing up with the founding team in my next meeting. Potentially, Ferret just saved me from making a massive mistake. Remember, before you regret it, get Ferret. You deserve to know who you're dealing with.